Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 7 and this is a special part in the 30 days of Kaggle's machine learning challenge which ends today and today I'm going to talk a little bit about public and private leaderboard and I am making this part only because I received a few queries around public and private leaderboard and why we need to choose submissions and how does choosing submission work and things like that and that's why i'm making this very short video so it's very closely related with the uh, cross validation system that we built uh, earlier so uh, let's say this is your test data and now what Kaggle does is they select some of the samples so like this is one sample that they have selected this is another sample they have selected this is another sample they selected and they select random samples like this and there are many samples which are not selected so everything inside this one is not selected this is not selected and so on so you get the idea right these are the samples which are not selected so now what Kaggle does is it has taken all these samples and combined them together to give you the results of on something called public leaderboard. So these are the samples which have been selected for public leaderboard and th this can be anywhere between uh, something greater than zero to 100% right. So, and so when you're making predictions, so when you, when you have making, when you have made predictions on test data and submitted your submission file, these, uh, it calculates score on everything, but it only shows you the score on the samples that have been selected. And that's your private leaderboard score. So it's like validation data that you have. So now, um, but if you are using this leaderboard to see and select your submissions or to improve your model, you are probably overfitting to the public leaderboard. And that's why we used cross validation in which we cross validated in a five fold or 10 fold manner. And then uh, we submitted to the leaderboard. So private leader, public leaderboard may not always be uh, the correct representation of where you are standing in the leaderboard. And that's why Kaggle tells you to select two submissions. So now what happens is when the competition ends, you have, uh, first of all, you're looking at this score. Let's say this score is 0 0.72. And when the competition ends, you are shown the score on these samples instead. So the, these scores you were not seeing before and you see the RMSE on these samples or any metric. And now this can be 0 0.71. If it's 0 0.71, you have an improvement or it can also be 0 0.73 and you just lost thousands of rank, right? So now how to select a submission? Why should we select submission? So we go to the leaderboard and see you have the public leaderboard and here they say they have calculated only on 25% of the test data. So random 25% data or maybe it's uh, in, it's uh, uh, selected in an intelligent manner but we don't know. And the final results will be based on the other 75%. So this score that you're seeing here might not be the best score or it might be, you don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there is a little bit of luck involved, but uh, mostly people try to trust cross validation. So this, the scores, so if I go to my submission and if I order them by public score, so this is the best score that I got on public leaderboard, 71727. So this is the best score on the public leaderboard. So what I can do is I can select this submission. Okay, uh, seems like I've selected two submissions already. So let me unselect them. So starting from scratch, I come here, I choose best public score. And this is one of the submissions that I've selected. So because it gives me the best public score. And now I know that 
okay, this this one, this submission that I submitted had the best cross validation score. It didn't have the best public leaderboard score. It didn't improve my rank, but it's very close to my best public score. It's also very close to other people on the leaderboard. And uh, it had it had a, a CV score of uh, 0 0.71700. Okay, so now I can select this one too. So now I have selected two submissions, one with the best cross validation score and one with the best leaderboard score. Okay, so this is one of the ways in which people select these two submissions and that's why you have to select these two submissions. And since let's say you selected one with best cross validation score and you selected one with best leaderboard score and your best leaderboard score is still the best. So uh, that will be counted as your best private leaderboard score. But if you don't select anything, Kaggle is automatically going to choose this one because this gives you the best public score. And then it's going to choose this one, which gives you the second best public score. Okay, I'm going to select these two because I want to be towards the end of the leaderboard, but you want to be towards the top of the leaderboard. So uh, that's the concept of public and private leaderboards. And that's how you should select your submissions. Um, I, I've, I've also written a post on it. There are no rules for selecting submissions. You must try to select the two best submissions that you think are going to perform uh, best on private data set. If they must generalize. Uh, so uh, if, if you have two different models or two different submissions and you think these two are the best ones, which will probably generalize, uh, I should select, you should select them but there are no rules people usually select one with best cv score and one with best uh, public leaderboard score but the choice is yours okay then uh, that's all for today's video i hope you liked it if you do like it do click on the like button do subscribe to my channel and good luck with the last day or the last few hours of uh, 30 days of machine learning challenge and uh, see you in other videos on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.